Okay, I want to say hi again everybody, hello again everybody, it's only me, Wushu Richard, thanks for joining me. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you a few more techniques, okay, for my training methods in Kung Fu or Kung Fu Wushu martial arts, okay. Um, I want to say first of all um, that sometimes I can go off the rails, <laughs> or kind of off the hook, you know, I go a bit um, crazy, like I show so many different kinds of techniques in training and I cover so many different concepts and it's hard for people to see in videos because I know obviously if you have somebody here to train with you know, if I have some more people in the video let's say that I can do applications with that will be much more better for you to see okay but I'm very sorry I don't have anyone right now I have done some application videos in the past I've done some sparring videos in the past too but I want to say I really hope you enjoy what I do show, okay, and you just take care of yourself. Um, sometimes I speak very fast too, and I can go like really one to the dozen or ten to the dozen. I start like explaining so many different techniques, how to block, how to do this, how to do that, you know, and how to change and blah, 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 blah. I kind of confuse people, but I want to explain to you that I'm just trying to share as much as possible. Sometimes it's very important to just show some simple techniques, you know, like a like I might say a block and a strike, you see, or a block and a strike. But it's like sometimes, and I might, sp I might spend like 10 minutes talking about a certain technique. But you know, sometimes you really need to like learn to flow and learn how to flow and change between different techniques. So if I spend a very long time showing you a certain stance, or how to keep the root, you know, or if I talk about the concepts of flows, each technique way or ways to practice and it's deep but it's like the most important thing is you want to understand how to flow and change and sometimes by looking at multiple angles and multiple techniques and scenarios you can understand them all more you understand the whole flow of martial arts in general by that I mean by that I mean like you know you will understand more in, in general like um, if, I, if I show one stance and then another stance or another uh, technique from one angle then another technique from another angle you may understand more looking at it that way because you can see the difference between various different techniques and different angles and plus I'm flowing and working my footwork and I may be answering questions the whole time because you may be thinking like well okay this techniques maybe kind of <laughs> it's hard to understand on the video but it's like it might be kind of like acceptable or something you can understand okay but it's like you may you know wonder how can what would I do if, if I was facing another direction or how would I be able to fight from another direction how would I be able to change my position and fight what if such another thing happened what would I be able to do so then from by watching the video you can um, see me flow in different kinds of positions you can kind of see more of my movement more fluidly what I'm actually doing is what I'm actually trying to say to you see blocking from here and striking see I might do a kind of karate block here a block out a block out a punch I might come in from here I might come from here I might raise the elbows I might come from see I might come from here the crane and get opening up I might use my elbows to push he goes to pull my elbows down up open up I kick from there see what I'm saying I come from the side here I might come from here I might go never low kick I might go from the side there I might go from here I might come from this side here. So whatever angle is coming, I'm gonna I'll be flowing and changing from different positions. You see what I'm trying to say and, and showing the moves from different angles. And it may be hard for some people to understand why the hell, you know, if I stand here and just tell you, okay, get into this position, do a block, you know. Or get into this position, you know, step back and do a punch. It's like you say, well, hang on, that's not really realistic, that's kinda like, unrealistic in real life situations, what right, you might say. If I say, stand up and do a hammer fist stroke to the head, you might say, well, how is that realistic? Or, spin around and do an elbow. So I don't say, well, how is that really? I have to explain a certain thing. Someone comes to grab my elbow, I come out with my back fist, see? Someone comes to touch my body here, I bring my elbow in and my hand's still facing. I explain the certain technicality of the actual moves, I'm saying. It's kind of hard when I break things down into simple techniques sometimes. But it's like, if I start explaining things like, you know, how to change and what I'm actually doing, 
you know, then then it becomes more, you know, more. Um, it sort of becomes more easier for me as well to explain what I'm actually doing. When you see me do a move like this, for example, I don't always do this kind of big starter, do I? Is it for show? In the beginning, when, when I was like younger, I used to look at certain kung fu styles and think, wow, it's so cool looking, or certain movements, you know, like that. Or like doing certain techniques like this, you know, and things like that. You know what I mean? I used to think it was so damn cool looking at people doing certain cool techniques. But it's like later on, I was thinking, well, what's this and what's that? And you're like a child, you're like a baby. As you grow older, you start to ask yourself, what is it? And you mature in the martial arts and as a person. And you start thinking, well, what is that? And what is he doing? You know, and how can I use that? Or how would I work this into real life? Okay, people say all this martial arts stuff like the show and there's certain things that won't work. There's certain people that are so-called experts that say this stuff is all showy and it's only for exercise. And I'm telling myself and asking myself, hang on, a lot of these are all martial arts techniques. They're not dance routines. So they must have some kind of use to them, as in the ways you can apply them and adapt them differently, but also the way that they actually are without changing anything. So looking at a certain technique, and you're doing a big punch like that, for example, you know, or you're doing a certain technique, or you're doing a big, some kind of flashy stuff, I ask myself, what is that about? And I ask myself, how can I use it? And I start looking for those techniques, flows and stuff. So I'm doing any, any kind of flows I know. And it's been, a, it's been a lot of training and practice, believe me, in my life. You know, to, to, actually, to actually come to more of an understanding. Because some teachers won't teach you, you know, everything you want to know, you know. So it's like, when I've been doing all kinds of walks, I might be here and I might you realise, oh, I'm leaning more on this leg now, okay, I'm doing this, ah, and then suddenly that technique comes out. Like magic, all of a sudden. So I'm coming in, and I might go in for a punch here, see, and I'm thinking, oh, look, this is that Dong Bu punch I had a moment ago, isn't it? So, okay, then I'm starting thinking about the alignment of my body and how I'd actually use that. You know, someone might come to grab me from here. I might come under his hand here, see, and then feel the line of the energy through here and do that. It might not be a punch. It might be like a forearm thrust. See, and when I, when I understand that, I start to understand more about different applications of it because I feel the power. You need to feel some power in every move, as though it's a martial art move and it's not a joke. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what I'm basically trying to the point I'm trying to get across. I know my words get a bit mumbled up, I'm trying, I'm trying to get a bit over the top near the end of my video sometimes. I'm trying to explain it a million different things. But the whole concept is, it's all one thing. You can't break up, you can't take the arms and the legs away. It's all part of the human body. You can't take the letters out of the alphabet and say, tell me about the language. Everything's connected. When you start separating certain things, you can't do it. You can't take the ground away from your feet. You've got to, you've got to be part of it. You can't. You know what I'm trying to say? You can't take the real element away from the martial arts. Otherwise, there's nothing to talk about. I'm going to stop this video and see you in another video. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this one. A quick, simple, explanation of um, the half flow stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching.